I want you to take a look at a drop of water. Isn't that just amazing? Amazing. Yeah. And here's one drop of water. Okay, interesting, right? Yep. One drop of water. How many water molecules do you think there are? Hmm. Probably, I'd say maybe 100 million. Okay, 100 million. 100 million. 100 million. It's made of molecules, the smallest piece of of water that exists is a molecule of water. Let's say that a molecule of water is the size of this marble in our model, okay? Which container here would you think would be the size of the drop of water if this was one water molecule? So I have various containers up here. Okay. You can also use the countertop or maybe the room or maybe something else. Okay. So what, what would you think what would your guess be the size of a water drop? Based on what I just did there. Well, that's a real, that's a real that's drop real of water. Easy, and we're going to pretend drop. that the smallest piece of water in that okay. drop of water is a molecule. And this, in our model, it's going to be one water molecule. Okay. I think this. This one? Yes. I think these are too small. I, well... I kind of like the inside of my van. I like the size of my van. Is it a big van? It's a big van. <laughs> How many passengers can it hold? Eight. Eight passengers. That is a big van. So we're going to go with the van. I'm going with the van. In that drop, uh -huh. how much space would yeah. these fill? Gosh, that's a great question. Um, I'm assuming it's got to be pretty big because you think of vapor. The molecules, water molecules, I don't know if that has anything to do with it or not, but they spread out. Pretty, there's lots of steam. So I'm going to say, I don't think it'd be the whole, I'm going to say the garbage can. That would be my guess. So the garbage can would be our drop of water. I'd probably have to say the science building. The science building. Yeah. And so you would say that science building would hold how many marbles? 100 million. So if I said 100 million, uh, that's hard to visualize, but I would say the size of the the multi or the gym. Okay, so the gym or the multi-room. So you're saying that's a space that can hold a hundred million of those marbles. Or bigger, yes. I might increase my answer to the size of the school campus. Okay, so the school campus. hundred million of those marbles. I'll go with that. So how many water molecules, these marbles, would you think would go in there? In that one drop of water. Tough question. I think a thousand. A thousand water molecules, these marbles, into that water droplet yeah. box. Uh, I'm going to go with 5,000. 5,000 of those marbles can fill up your van. Yeah. So how many marbles do you think would fit in that garbage can if this were the drop of water? Oh, wow. Uh, gee, yes. I don't know. Thousands? Hundreds of hundred, A hundred thousand. 100,000 marbles in that garbage can to fill up that space. I, I guess. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's 50,000. Okay, 50,000. 50, 50 uh, how about a range? 50 to 100,000. 50 to 100, that's good. I like it. All right. All right, I am actually going to tell you the answer. And here's the answer the number of molecules in one drop of water is 1.4 sextillion molecules. Have you ever heard of a number sextillion? Do you have any idea how big that is? <laughs> no. <laughs> have you heard of a trillion? Yes. All right. So a trillion. Debt, right? Debt. Yeah. Debt. Yeah. Debt. Yeah. So a trillion is basically a number with 12 zeros. Right. A thousand million is a trillion. Is that right? A thousand Off the top of my head, yeah. I don't know, but it so. sounds good to me. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, so you have 999 million, then. Well, then it'd be a billion. Oh, gosh. So a thousand billion. Right. That's thousand what it is, billion. a thousand billion. Yeah, there we go. Okay. A thousand billion is a trillion. Oh my gosh, we're in a lot of debt. Okay, anyway. So, trillion has 12 zeros in it. Sextillion has 21 zeros in that number. In one drop of water? Yeah, that many molecules in one drop of water, yeah. Man. 
according to my research online. Okay. All right, now as far as the space that takes up, again, if this was one, this represented one water molecule, it would, would take, uh, for 1.4 sextillion of these, a space of a Mount Everest, not one, but a thousand. A thousand Mount Everests of these in one drop of water. Yes. Man, crazy. So what does that tell you about the size of a molecule? It's, I mean, tiny. I mean, obviously, <laughs> right? I mean, it's ridiculously tiny. 1.4 sextillion water molecules. Wow. You know how big that number is? Um, yeah, it's got six zeros on the end of it. Well, it's, it's a number that has a total of 21 zeros. Sextillion. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. Okay. So a trillion has 12 zeros. Right. Sextillion has 21 zeros. All right, as far as our containers here and our marble water molecule, well, we'd roughly need the equivalent of Mount Everest a thousand times over. Wow. So what do you think about that? That's huge. That's a lot. It's hard to process, isn't it? Yeah. And it's hard to visualize that. I, I still can't wrap my brain around it. Right. Yeah, I can't either. Sextillion water molecules. Way more than I thought. Do you know how big a sextillion is? No, I have no clue. Okay, so you know what a billion is? Yes. It's a number with uh, nine zeros afterwards. Trillion is 12 zeros after it. Sextillion is 21 zeros after it. Wow. So way bigger than Springview Campus. Yeah. So to hold 1.4 sextillion marbles would require the space of Mount Everest. Wow. Actually, a thousand of them. That's amazing. <laughs> That's awesome. Isn't that hard to think about? It's hard to think about. Yeah. Definitely. Crazy. 1.4 sextillion water molecules in one drop of water. That's pretty crazy. Do you, not, do you have an idea of how big that number is? Sextillion. I think it's huge. Okay, so it's a number with 21 zeros afterwards. Right. A trillion has 12 zeros. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy big. And, all right, so a container that can hold that many marbles would have to be the size of Mount Everest. So a thousand times over a thousand Mount Everest would take that many marbles. I don't even see that here to choose from. No, you don't. You don't see it at all. <laughs> so I, I, I didn't have that option, did no, I? No, I didn't. Trick question. Trick. 1.4 sextillion molecules in one drop of water. I was off a little bit. Just a little bit. A little bit. Now, do you have an idea of how big a sextillion is? We don't use sextillion very often, so not very, no, not a, bit, a lot. So you're probably familiar with a billion, right? Yep, billion. And probably a trillion, right? A trillion is next. So a trillion is a number with 12 zeros, right? Okay. So a sextillion is a number with 21 zeros. So just a few more. Yeah, just a few <laughs> more. Okay, now for those 1.4 sextillion marbles, we would need a space to hold that as big as, well, not only the size of Mount Everest, but actually a thousand Mount Everest. Wow, so not the classroom either, but much bigger. Not the classroom, yeah. Wow, Dude, none of this would, yeah, wow. Yeah, it's hard to imagine, yeah, isn't it? It is hard to imagine, this, none of this would be even close to being enough is that, for just that one drop. Does that give you a little bit of idea of how small those molecules are? Yeah, they're really small, they're really, really small. A thousand Mount Everest, and, yeah. you know, that many molecules. Yeah.